So in response to the wave of negative commentary around policing, a national campaign focuses on the positive. Thank You Blue is a way for the community to show their support for local law enforcement and other law enforcement. And joining us now to talk about this is the creator of the campaign, Jim Ellis, and also a retired captain of La Mesa PD, Dan Willis. Uh, great to see you, gentlemen. Thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Thank Jim, you. Thank you for having us. Jim, let me start with you. You created the Thank You Blue campaign. Why did you decide you wanted to do that? Well, actually, it's been two years. Or two years ago today, we had a premiere of a documentary that I created called Keeping the Peace. And that was all around wellness for officers and law enforcement. And from that documentary, it was interesting. You know, they had interest from 35 different states to show that. So I thought every year on National Police Week, why don't we have something that supports our officers? Last year we had COVID, couldn't do an event. But this year I thought, you know what, let's focus on the positive. There's been so much negativity around policing. Let's focus on the great job that they do. Thank you, Blue. And tell me a little bit more about that theme and that documentary, Keeping the Peace. Why did you choose that theme and what does it mean to you? Well, that's, yeah, that's a great question. You know, it was three years ago, I wanted to do a project. I have a, you know, production company in San Diego, and I'm like, I need a project. The next day, I talked to an officer, a former officer, who said, you know what's really needed? Something for the officers, because they're hurting. And I never thought, officers hurting? You know, how often do we think of officers as even humans sometimes, you know, for those looking on the outside? So I did a little research. I uh, reached out to different um, chiefs and police departments, and I got ignored for one year <laughs> it's because who am I? But over time, they realized that there's something here. This, this person does want to do some good. So I um, matched my love for um, uh, law and order as well as my love for healing work, and I created the documentary. Captain, there's certainly been a number of cases uh, involving officers' uh, use of force. What would you like people to know about the men and women of law enforcement and just respond a little bit to what um, he was saying? I'm sorry, you uh, froze right in the middle of that question. Could you uh, repeat it, Logan? Oh, sure. Well, we've seen a lot of uh, issues involving police officers and use of force. I mean, we we're just we're talking about one in La Jolla. We, of course, have seen them across the nation. What would you like uh, people to know about the men and women of law enforcement? Well, uh, I think it's absolutely uh, essential for the public to support the police. It's a shared responsibility, public safety. And uh, there's, there are uh, a lot of false narratives out there. And it's really essential for people to truly understand that, that we are human. We uh, leave uh, our homes every morning or evening. We don't know if we're gonna come back and see our families. We will do anything to, um, to prevent a crime, to protect a life. Uh, every day we're out there trying to do as much good as we can to help people, uh, to make a meaningful difference. And if the public gets a um, warped sense of who we actually are and what we're doing out there, in the vast, vast, vast majority of, of cases that really hinders our ability to keep them safe. Sure. Uh, so you spent 30 years at law enforcement. You were a police officer, a captain, a, a SWAT commander, wrote a book about it. Can you just talk a little bit about what you learned over those 30 years and what you found most interesting, if you could just capsulize maybe some of the highlights? Well, uh, one thing is uh, I had no idea how the uh, traumas of the job can really cripple officers. We know suicides are number one cause of death. 20, 30% are suffering from post-traumatic stress. And uh, the one lesson I learned more than anything else was that this truly is a vocation of the heart, right? We protect and give life to people. We enable people to uh, go about their lives uh, in, in freedom and in, in peace. And if we're not putting our heart in our job with every single call, trying to make every call matter, doing as much good as we can, then the job is going to eat us alive and unfortunately has done that with far too many officers. Sure. Well, gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we'll also be celebrating National Police Week, uh, May 14th. And thanks so much for all the insight and all the hard work uh, that both of you do. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Logan.